Okay, so we are uh, entering, I believe, a new era um, where, you know, no longer is the all-seeing eye, uh, as more information comes out, it appears that, you know, you know, the Illuminati, the so-called enlightened ones that see so much, are nothing more than just another faction that, at best, may hold uh, some of the truth. So... Uh, what that actually does is that creates a situation where people being blinded by their uh, their belief systems, um, which are all like prisons uh, for people, um, and it, it blinds them to seeing the whole picture. The only way is to reach this sort of a apex to become the the new era is the to become that all-seeing eye at the top and the only way to do that is to be unbiased uh all the people um that you investigate seem to have you know bits and pieces of the truth or altered truths and uh there's just a wealth of information going around i know daniel says uh you know talking about end times, people are going to go to and fro, and knowledge will increase. And I think uh, maybe that's what it's talking about. You're going to be able to go to and fro and, you know, view all of these different um, world beliefs and uh, uh, paradigms from outside of them. Because really, you can't investigate something from the inside. So really, that's what this channel is all about. It's uh, people, truth seekers coming together, <clears throat> taking uh, an unbiased look at some of the information going around. And um, some things I don't feel, I, I feel like some things are a distraction, like the flat earth. And I'm going to post another video about that, so don't get angry. But I think uh, the video will definitely explain why. You know, that's probably more of a distraction than anything helpful with uh, everything. So, my question is, do you think you could um, participate in something like that? Are you uh, stuck in a worldview? Have you ever taken the ch opportunity or chance to uh, sort of try to get out of it and look at it objectively? Not, you know, not like if, you know, I can imagine... You know, some world beliefs, you might feel like it's uh, wrong to, to do that. And, you know, I, I understand that. But even in Christianity, for instance, you know, there was Doubting Thomas, right? And uh, so, you know, it wasn't like he's going to, uh, you know, burn in hell just because he needed to actually see the scar or the, the wound on Jesus. So um, we're not supposed to just go into this blindly, is what I'm saying. And uh, that's what we're doing whenever you uh, sort of get into one of these world views. Um, I like to think about it uh, like uh, the analogy of two cars. You know, the cars representing world views, right? You got the people, and each car is able to look out and see the outside of each other's car and the inside of their own car. But they're not able to see the inside of the other car or the outside of their own car. So that's what this uh, channel is really all about. It's not really about debating as much as it is. Uh, seeing if you can give validation to a certain belief. It's a powerful exercise because it really starts to tear down those walls that separate us when you begin to see these people like you with different circumstances, which is really essentially what we are. We're all so similar. Um, and I, like, I grew up in a house, a uh, um, biracial household with a, a Democrat and a Republican parent and one was pro-life one was pro-choice and um, I had already sort of made my mind up on the issue but it would take years before I was able to uh, give both sides um, equal validation and you know and that was just really after researching learning a lot about the subject and I never really changed my personal view on it but I did uh, refine my reasons for believing the way I do by sort of trying to uh, 
step into one of my parents' foot, uh, you know, what they were saying for their reasons for that, stepping, taking, putting on in their shoes, for instance, and just, you know, say, oh, okay, I, I get it, you know what I mean? So, and it would take years, and um, that's really powerful, though, and it can, you know, work in so many areas of your life. And for me, it's been one of the greatest um, exercises for just expanding awareness. It's also, whenever you get new information about things, if you're stuck in sort of this, uh, you know, and I have validation just watching a, a video on, on the Leak Project, which if you're, if you're not tuned in with them, definitely you want to do that. But it's like he was talking about it. It was exactly what I'm thinking about. You know, there's this compartmentalization that's keeping everybody from seeing the overall picture. And like he was saying, you got to have this bird's eye view. Well, that's what unbiased on the fence this channel is all about. It's about getting this bird's eye view so that as you get information, uh, when it doesn't fit, you don't just toss it out because uh, it doesn't fit into your worldview. But you're able to, you know, receive this information, set it on the shelf if it's plausible for a later time. And it's just the way the brain works. If you're in one of these systems and you hear this stuff, it's just... You'll either mislabel things or you'll just toss it all out, you know, baby with the bathwater, as they say. But stepping out of your paradigm and, you know, you step out of the emotion involved with uh, sort of trying to defend your position. And uh, it's powerful. Like I said, you don't have to change your worldview. You're just simply trying. I mean, and it works for so many different things that lots of hot button topics will we'll cover uh, homosexuality. Um, Suicide bombers, when, when you no longer have to uh, defend your position, you're able to just listen to people, hear what they're saying. And then when you honestly try to see how you, what it would take for you to believe that way, um, create that condition in your mind, okay, well, if I was born here, well, if I was raised in this religion, well, if blah, 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 I could see how... But uh, this is basically the overview of what this channel is about. If you're a truth seeker and you want to, uh, if anything I said is a confirmation to what you've already been dealing with, you know, please like and subscribe and stay tuned. There's going to be lots more to come and uh, hopefully we can discuss things together. And it's, it's hard to, you know, get along these days with, you know, some of the information coming out is just so bizarre that you know maybe it deserves a careful consideration but you just can't talk to talk to most people about it because they'll think you're wacky or or that you've uh you know become a satanist or, or, or something crazy so anyway um uh, we'll see you in the next video Thanks.